Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before this video starts, I want to give a huge shout out to George Maneras7588 and Cavalora Productions for giving me the facts on whether or not the song I'm about to talk about was real. You guys are the best. And as always, subtitles are available, blah, 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 you know the rest. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once. Shame on, shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. Well, a new Michael Jackson song has been mysteriously making its way across YouTube and other social media platforms, and there has been some speculations on whether or not this track is real or AI. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel, my name is The Horseman, and in today's video I will be talking about the recent so-called Michael Jackson leak, Rich Girl, also known as JB. I, I know I'm uploading this video outside my usual schedule, but I had to make a video about this to give you all the facts on this so-called leak. Now the real question is, is Rich Girl real or fake? Well, the short answer is yes, but also no. Let me explain. The song Rich Girl is a unreleased song recorded by Michael Jackson between 1993 and 1994. And it supposedly intended was intended for the History album, but it but didn't make the final cut. The song was mentioned by Brad Buxer during during the 100th episode of the MJ Cast podcast in 2019 as one of the as one of the songs he and Michael worked on throughout the years. In June of 2020, a Zoom call took place with with Michael Prince and Buxer, where it was reportedly revealed that well reportedly revealed that. Rich Girl was created around the time uh, Michael met Lisa Marie Presley. As for the song that was recently leaked, fans were quick to point out that this was probably AI generated and it was probably one of Kai Mix, Mu Kai Mix Music's rare mixes. Um, several also pointed out that this song could have been generated using Udio. Now, what is Udio, you might ask? Well, apparently, Udio is a AI model that lets you create songs based on simple text prompts, which generates vocals and instrument and, and instrumentals. Now, I'm not going to show y'all how, how it works because I'm kind of better to just promote AI stuff on my, on my channel. And I'm, and I'm a firm believer that AI is the root of all evil, and would not and I would not stoop to that low stoop that low to promote AI generated music. I gave a second chance to okay, 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 that was different. It was experimental. It was, it was, it was experimental, okay? It was, it was experimental, right? It was fucking experimental, right? Get, me, get, me, get, get off my back! After doing some research, I can confirm that this song is indeed AI generated. And for those who may still think that this song is real, let me elaborate. And once again, special thanks to George Manera's 7588 and Cavalora Productions for providing me with the facts. For starters, if you pay attention to the lyrics, notice how in Rich Girl, it talks about absolutely nothing about a girl. It repeatedly sings J, uh, JB in almost every line. And the only JB that I can think of are James Brown, Justin Bieber, and John Branca, Michael's entertainment lawyer. Obviously, it's not Brown or Bieber, so I'm betting my money that this song is about Branca. This seems more like a diss of anything, but why would Michael diss his lawyer slash manager? It's worth noting that Michael never dissed anyone in his uh, in his, his his estate or crew, and if he did, he certainly wouldn't name drop them in, in his songs like that. The only instance he does is um, is with DS, as that's the only diss track he th he's ever made, and that and that was to Tom Snedden. <sighs> I should have known it was AI generated based on the lyrics like. The king might be gone, but the fan still stands. I I can't make I can't make out what he was saying saying on the audio, but so so I could be wrong with the lyrics. But I know damn well Michael didn't refer to himself as king in the songs. It sounds way too egotistic for my for Michael's character. Another takeaway is that it has been confirmed by an anonymous source that this song was made by Kai Makes Music. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those days, huh? For those who don't know, last year I re-uploaded what I thought was a legit unreleased song from Michael's catalog, and by surprise to no one, it was one of Kai's AI mixes. And as a result of uploading it to, 
to my channel, I received a copyright strike from Kai, without warning I mind you, which was the main reason why I took a hiatus from uploading videos, to avoid the risk of this channel being taken out. But that's besides the point. You're probably wondering, if that version of Rich Girl is fake, then where did it come from? Well, while doing some more digging, I found the original channels that uploaded the AI generated song, MJ Air and Record Box 1988. MJ Air was created about a week ago on July 24, 2024, and has since uploaded three videos a day later claiming to be, claiming to be snippets of Rich Girl slash JB. But when you click on the videos, they, they all have the Korgnex trademark dub over. You know the one, the trademark that jump scares the shit out of your ear every time you hear it? Korg next! Yeah, that one? Yeah, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't stand that one. Record anyway, Record Box 1988, on the other hand, is a bit more interesting to say the least. The channel was created on October 14, 2016, but has since uploaded seven videos since July 28 of this year, claiming to be leaked songs and snippets from Michael Jackson's catalog. These songs apparently include a mysterious, dangerous era instrumental snippet, an outtake called Just a Game that was apparently recorded during the, the Invincible Era, the already mentioned Rich Girl JB song, a snippet of a 2004 demo called I Need a Chance, a scratch demo of Crack Kills that was apparently recorded in the late 1990s, and, w and, and a snippet of, of a reworked demo for Crack Kills. Now, from listening to these snippets and leaks on Rekordbox channel, I guarantee you that these AI that these are without a doubt AI generated. From the lyrics, the instrumentals, to even the overuse of Michael's ad libs, everything about this channel just screams AI generated. And there's no doubt in my mind that these leaks are indeed from Kai Mix Music. Now, the way I see it, there's only one possibility, or two, and this is just and this is just speculation, don't don't take my word for it, but I truly believe that the person behind both the MJ Air and Record Box channels are either the same person or in cahoots to one another. And they could have have and they might have hacked into Kai's stuff and leaked it and leaked his demo AI tracks and stuff online, which a sim a similar a similar scenario to the 2023 MJ leak incident. Or these channels could be Cognex Corgnex's way of trolling the viewers for wanting more MJ music. Again, again, these are only speculations. Hey there, last minute me here. So after finishing this video and uploading it for schedule, I received a particular comment from uh, from the comic section of my Rich Girl re-upload. Uh, re there were people saying that this was AI, which is true, and there are people saying that, that this was one of Kai Make Music's mixes, which is apparently false. In one of the comments, Kai replied with a simple nope, and when I visited the comment section from the original video upload, I saw a pretty lengthy comment from Kai himself, saying, quote, Okay, since I saw my name connected to this obviously AI song several times now, especially especially by those, by two specific persons, B and M, I just want to make it clear, this is not an alternate channel of mine. I do not, I don't do MJ stuff anymore. Also, this channel was created in 2016 already. Look for yourself. Please, uh, please stop pointing this on me. It get it gets very annoying. Regarding the song itself, awesome song, AR or not. So it's safe to say that this is not one of AI's, um, uh, one of Kai's mixes, and I am now safe from a copyright strike for now at least. And this is most likely Record Box um, 1988's original AI song that that they're trying to pass as a legit leak when the lyrics when the lyrics themselves say otherwise. The information on where they got the so-called leak is pretty vague, and um, when asked where they where they got the audio from, they replied that they got it from an old tape from the, from the 1990s. And when they asked how how they found the tape, they replied saying that they bought the tape from an unknown collector in the 2000s. The thing with leaks, uh, you know, the thing with leaks like these is that they is that they provide hardly any evidence on where they get the leaks from. No documents, no images of other tapes, no testimony from the collectors, nor the leakers themselves. They just expect us to take their word for it without us researching where it's from. 
But anyways, I just want to make it clear that this was not one of Kai's songs, and I sincerely apologize to Kai Mix Music for getting the info mixed up. We may have some differences in the past, but but I still enjoy your work, your work from time to time. Without the way, now back to the video. You know, it's kind of ironic, don't you think? Out of every singer, rapper, and musician on earth, no one has more controversies regarding leaking material than Michael Jackson. It's not, it's not only a statement for me, it's, but it's a fact in general. You got, I mean, you got fans complaining about how the estate doesn't release enough unreleased material, and when someone, quote unquote, leaks unreleased material from said artist, the fans will immediately point out as either fake or AI generated. I mean, make it make sense, people. In conclusion, the recent controversy around Michael Jackson's Rich Girl has created both excitement and, confu and confusion among fans. After thorough research and analysis, it is clear that the song is AI generated and has nothing to do with the title itself. The song is obviously an AI generated diss towards John Branca, and it's been confirmed that it was not created by Kai Mix Music. However, Korgenex, say Korgenex said otherwise. At the end of the day, we don't know for certain who created what we know now as JB, but I would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Once again, I appreciate George Manera's 7588 and Cav Cavalora Production for their contributions in verifying the facts. And I want to give a special thanks to Kai Makes Music for clearing the air, um, I guess. And thank you, and thank you all for tuning in. I hope you found this video informative. Stay tuned for more updates. Uh, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon so you won't miss my latest videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.